A new species, invasive species of ticks is spreading rapidly in South Central PA. Fox 43's Kyle Ennis shares why their numbers are growing and what experts say you need to know. It's called the Asian longhorn tick, and the reddish-brown colored species is invading South Central PA rapidly, with the average female laying two to 4,000 eggs at a time. If these ticks pick up the wrong pathogens, they can pass them on to the people they bite, potentially lead to different types of diseases, says Millersville professor John Wallace, an entomologist. The fear is, is that the pathogens that these other ticks transmit to humans, such as the bacteria that cause Lyme disease, anoplasmosis, or leukiosis. While current DEP research says the tick is not carrying those pathogens, it's still important to remove them if they latch on. The DEP provides a few key recommendations to be safe outdoors. Now, when you're walking on these trails, make sure with taller vegetation like this, stay centered in the trail, wear lighter colored clothing, and also on top of that, check your friends, family, and those you're with, including your pets. For ticks. If a tick has been latched on for longer than 24 hours, Wellspan infectious disease physicians recommend seeking medical attention immediately after symptoms arise. If you start having flu-like symptoms or a bullseye rash, which is like a target-shaped lesion with central clearing, you want to seek medical attention uh, to get evaluated for Lyme disease. Some cases are more severe and could require a trip to the hospital. That's why using bug repellent and taking the recommended precautions with clothing is important. Tucking your shirt into your pants and your pants into the sock. And then as far as repellent on the skin, you want to use something that's EPA approved, such as DEET picaridin, oil of uh, lemon eucalyptus. But Wallace says despite the ick factor, there is no need to be too fearful of these specific ticks. They invoke all kinds of weird feelings because they do suck blood and they do attach to you, right? It's nothing to get alarmed about right now. Kyle Ennis, Fox 43 News.